Good morning. It's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler, and today is Wednesday, June the 28th, 2023. And Snickers and I are going on an excursion that may last us all day today. So follow along. Hello, you have found my channel, The Crafty Traveler. My name is Lonnie, and I am a 71-year-old female who loves to camp and travel. I'm saying goodbye to my husband for the next four months as I travel across country with my little schnauzer Snickers. We're traveling in my Mini Winnie and towing my Honda. Come and subscribe to my channel and follow our adventures. Thanks for watching. Let me show you where we're going to go today and also what things I need to take for Snickers and I when I take a full day excursion. I'll show you the map. This is our map. This is where the campground is. So my plan is to go into Custer State Park, which will cost me $20, but it'll be for a long time. So I could go back tomorrow. Go over this area, which I was told I can see Mount Rushmore from here. And then come back around go to Crazy Horse, come in here, which is the Needles Highway, and then go around Custer and back out. Now, it's supposed to be pretty warm today in the 80s, so this area, the wildlife area, I don't know what I'm going to see in the, in the afternoon when it's hot, and if I don't see much, I may come back tomorrow morning and just do this area. So follow along, see what we do. Things that I take on an all-day excursion for Snickers and I. Well, first of all, my other camera. And this bag has other camera equipment in it. I always take Snickers water bottle, which is this water bottle, wherever we go. And I always constantly um, give him water, especially on a hot day. I also have this little ice chest, which has more water, some tea for me, and I always freeze a bottle of water. That bottle of water is frozen under there, and I also have a blue icy that my daughter gave me. You can see that blue thing right there. I have our lunch, some snacks, of course, snacks for Snickers. I have his chicken that he eats for lunch and I have some leftover pizza from last night. There's my pizza from last night. I have about four or five slices for me. I'm also adding some crackers with a little salt because if it's hot and I'm drinking a lot of water or tea you need a little salt to replenish and of course dessert. A couple of chocolate chip cookies. So that's what I take when I go on an excursion with Snickers. I also take a hat. This is my favorite hat because it has a neck shield. And I also take some kind of sun protection. This is a sun shirt. I won't be in the sun that long, but the sun right now is very intense. Iron Mountain Road is the route connect, connects Custer State Park with Mount Rushmore National Memorial and takes motorists along with some of the fantastic vistas. The magnificence of the Badlands and the Black Hills is fully on display on Iron Mountain Road. It is only 17 miles long, but you should budget at least an hour to traverse this road to stop and see the scenery. From this lookout, was I saw my first glimpse of Mount Rushmore. You can see Mount Rushmore from the highway, head out on Iron Mountain Road. The road takes drivers along the incredibly scenic route and offers several phenomenal opportunities to see Mount Rushmore from the road.
this is one of three tunnels that I went through on Iron Mountain Road. You're not allowed to take high RVs or wide RVs on the road, so cars are best used. After the third tunnel, there is a surprise to see. Rushmore after coming through the tunnels. This was the location of the Galena Fire, which happened in 1988, and it has been fully restored and looks like a beautiful meadow again. Mount Rushmore is free to all to enter. There is no entrance fee. And parking is also free. And there is a shuttle bus that goes from the parking lot to the visitor center. Although I was close enough, I could walk. We're headed into the Mount Rushmore Memorial Mall. Here is Snickers and I, standing on the mall, looking up at Mount Rushmore. This is Gustin Borglum, the sculpture of Mount Rushmore, and this sculpture was done by his son, Lincoln Borglum. There's Mount Rushmore. We are at Mount Rushmore. What is your name? My name is Gia Flores. And where are you from? I'm from El Paso, right, Texas. And I'm an intern here at Mount Rushmore National Memorial this summer. For the yeah. Wild, uh, National Park Service. Yes. Fabulous. Well, so good to meet you. Thank you for taking pictures of Snickers and giving him his Mount Rushmore tag. Nope. And Snickers got a Bark Ranger tag for Mount Rushmore. And this nice young lady gave it to us and took pictures of him for the National Park. That's wonderful. And of course, Snickers get some ice cream. There's our pecan ice cream, maple pecan. Doesn't get a lot, just a little spoonful. Now we have left Mount Rushmore and we are heading to Crazy Horse Memorial. 
Henry Standing Bear, an Ogallala Lakota chief and well-known statesman and elder in the Native American community, recruited and commissioned Polish-American sculptor Korsak Zolokowski to build the Crazy Horse Memorial in the Black Hills of South Dakota in October of 1931. The Crazy Horse Memorial is on private land and there is an admission fee ranging from $7 to $35 depending on the mode of transportation. I paid $10 as a senior discount, but for a single person in a car it's $12, two people $24, and three or more it's $30. They do allow dogs on the outside of the property, and there is a patio that other dogs can go on where you can view Crazy Horse. Snickers was allowed to go in the visitor center as he is now my service dog. Now we are going to be following the Needles Highway. And you can see the profile of George Washington right there. I pulled off at the pullout to see the profile of George Washington. And these rocks are just fantastic around here. And of course you can hear Snickers barking in the background. bad of a crowd, but sometimes there are traffic jams because tour buses come through and we have to wait for the tour buses. Highway is more than just a 14-mile road. It's a spectacular drive through pine, spruce forests, and meadows surrounded by birch and aspen and the rugged granite mountains. The road's name comes from the needle-like granite formations that seem to pierce the horizon along the highway. The roadway was carefully planned by former South Dakota Governor Peter Norbach who marked the entire course on foot by horseback. Construction was completed in 1922.
on the way back to the campground, I think this was at the edge of Custer State Park, we encountered a small herd of fluffy cows. This is the herd coming across the road. Unfortunately, my video camera was not working, so I took stills. And this big boy decided to walk right along the road and approaching my car, walking right past my car, and you can see his back right out of my passenger window. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative when in South Dakota. Thanks for watching.